Okay, this may sound weird, a screen recording taken outside. This is a view of the old real-time trains before the forthcoming redesign. To use the website, press on something, such as like, in a re quickly search here for trains to say location, we're currently near Stamford. So you put Stamford and such. Let's show you this, which is just passing you can switch to detailed and see freight. We are currently over at near Offington signal box. So we press that in, submit, and there we are. We can press on a train to see where it's been, where it's going, and where it is. As we see here, this train is currently four minutes late at Peterborough and expected at us at 12.04. The train will terminate at 13.38. And the train before it, but running on time, is this train from Birmingham to Stansted, which was a minute down at Oakham, but gained the time back at Manton and terminates at 13.41. You can read the terms of use of what to do with the data or blah de blah. You can go on the about page, which says exactly what it is, what it's been, and what it will be. Alternatively, go back to the home page, go on latest news to see the brand new news portal, which is a preview into the new website, which will launch on Friday, which we will reshow. Ooh. And here we are on Friday, on the new page. Real Time Trains was updated on the morning of Friday the 18th of October 2019 at approximately 10.29 hours. This is a quick guide through the new page as well as, an, as part of the old versus new video. Let's have a look. Latest updates, we've redecorated. More on our blog. There's mostly minor improvements across the site, but everything should be familiar if you've used the site before. Little pointer there, it threw me when I first reloaded this page from the old to the new. Completely threw me. They're still looking for GPS tracks though, and you can list your feedback, emailing, tweeting, or through Facebook. You can get to the menu and contact for the such things. A new part to this site is site status. It shows you through the status of like the processor, trust, the train described with a very short time plan, the CIF, and the track in it. Let's walk through this. Where? Right, well, let's go to simple first. Let's search, like, what, Stamford, because we was in the area of the dome, we want to keep this consistent. They can see the next stopping services at Stamford in passenger service. Or you can... Flip through to detailed. We're going to move on to Uffington signal box up the way. Let's make sure we've got the actual older by pressing show detailed filtering options. Let's press search. You can see now that cancelled services display in red, on time services display in bold, and delayed services will also display in red. Let's look into a service such as. This non-running Leicester to Hornsey, yeah, it's not running, is it? You can see there it lists the service information at the top when it's departing. Train obfuscated. More information here. Basically, they can't show the real head code because the operator of this doesn't allow them to. So you can see here, there may or may not be more timing points on this, but there is certainly more detail. You can see like major stations in bold or stopping for staffing reasons and go through the rest of the page to the terminating point. This shows platforms and the most up-to-date timing information. Let's look at this cross-country train service. These are now a path as a class 158, a 168, a 170 or a 175. But bear in mind, only one of those classes runs these trains for cross country. If we go down again, you can see now that late is plus minutes, early is minus minutes, and on time is just nothing. 
We're not expecting to see RT in the Times anytime again soon. If we slowly go through this, again, you can see some on-time bits, such as what well, So the Wigston doesn't really say RT for real time, but Leicester, the delayed departure, shows a minute down. This did throw me once I first looked at it, like I said, but I suppose I'm with it now. I've got to be, haven't I, really? Otherwise, I've got no other thing to use. Thank you for watching this video showing the old and new real-time trains.